The Ohio Attorney General has a message tonight for businesses that have outstanding smoking fines. Pay up or his office will come knocking. This comes after a two news investigation exposed more than two million dollars of unpaid smoking citations in the state of Ohio. Natalie Tendall with Two News Investigates finds out how the AG plans to collect that money. Well, Mike DeWine's office is helping the Public Health Department collect fines from businesses who were cited for allowing smoking in their establishments. But after our investigation, we wanted to know how he plans to make it work after fines went unpaid for years. Millions of dollars are owed to the state of Ohio in smoking fines. And according to the Montgomery County Public Health Department, nearly 300,000 of that is coming from several Montgomery County businesses. All fined for allowing customers to smoke inside their bars and restaurants. But a two news investigation exposed a problem. It's not easy to enforce. We weren't ready, or the state wasn't ready to enforce a, 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 I think a strict collections. Policy. The Public Health Department is now partnering with the Attorney General's office to collect the fines, but we wanted to know if they're doing their job. Are we ever going to see this money? Well, we're starting to see some of it. Uh, you know, we have successfully collected some of it. Attorney General Mike DeWine tells me it can take years to collect the money owed to the state because the fined businesses still have the right to go to court and they need to have money to take it. You know, if a uh, business goes out of business, uh, and let's say they were a corporation, uh, uh, as you know, the law provides that you can only get money from that corporation. DeWine says last year he enlisted the help of another agency to try to get more businesses to pay up. Uh, having a liquor control commission uh, jerk their license or not renew their license, that gets people's attention real quick. In fact, the Attorney General's office says two of the establishments on the Montgomery County Public Health Department's list are awaiting hearings to determine if their liquor licenses will be renewed. But even after that effort, DeWine can't guarantee the state will see its full $2 million. You know, will all these dollars be collected? Probably not. Uh, that's just the way, it, you know, it works. We don't like that. But, uh, you know, we, we do whatever we can do to collect that money. That's our job. Now, DeWine says he's worked with several businesses on a settlement plan once they agree to start paying their fines. But if they refuse, they face even more fines and interest. Natalie Tendall, 2 News, investigates.